Hello everybody and welcome to lesson eight. Today I think you're all going to be in the classroom together. So this is going to be a really interesting lesson to see who's been practicing at home and who hasn't. <laughs> but to begin with we're going to do a very simple warm-up. All you have to sing are whatever I sing. So just sing the numbers exactly the same way as I sing these numbers. And the first number that we're going to sing is one. Got it? That was nice and easy, wasn't it? Listen to this one. One, two, one. Okay, I'm going to go up a number. Have a listen. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. Are you getting the idea? One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. The trick is to remember what note we're aiming for next. We've done five, so now one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. My turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one now, listen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you do it? Eight's the last number that we have to count up to. So this time when we get to eight, we're going to celebrate. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. With me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so all the way through, together. Remember the first thing that we sing is one, then we gather, gradually add a number. If you want to use your fingers to help, then I am, so why don't you? Here we go. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now that wasn't too hard. Shall we make it just a little bit tricky? Okay. I need a number between one and five. Somebody call one out. Somebody choose a number between one and five. Four? Okay, four it is. Now then, <laughs> well it's four anyway, whatever you said. We're gonna sing the whole song again. But when you get to number four, every time, you're not allowed to sing it. It's absolutely silent. If you like, you can clap it, but you can't sing it, okay? No four, just a instep. Ready, steady, here we go. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, three, two, one. One, two, three, five, three, two, one. One, two, three, five, six, five, three, two, one. One, two, three, five, six, seven, six, five, three, two, one. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. <laughs> Did you get it right? I usually get myself in a right mess with that. Okay, so gonna make it even harder. Four is going to stay as a clap. Now I need a number between five and eight. Five and eight, come on somebody, five and eight. 
Did someone say six? Six it is, thank you very much. Right, now four and six are out. And you're gonna clap on four and six. I might just go a little bit slower because this is really tricky now. So are you ready? Here we go. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, three, two, one. One, two, three, five, three, two, one. One, two, three, five, five, three, two, one. One, two, three, five, seven, five, three, two, one. One, two, three, five, seven, eight, seven, five, three, two, one. <laughs> do you know what? I think you might want to go back and do that again and see if a few more people can get that right because I know what happened then. It was all over the place. I bet it was. It's really good for your concentration. It's what we call brain gymnastics, brain gym. So have another go. See if you can get that better. Time for your violins now. And we're actually going to start with the exercise that we were doing last week where you changed F to F sharp and C to C sharp and you did it like this. You squashed up your second finger for an F and stretched it out for an F sharp. On the A string you squashed up your second finger for a C but stretched it out for a C sharp. I'm hoping that you'll remember that. If not it might be worth going back to one of the old videos where that was explained. Lesson seven. Okay, but let's assume that you can all do it and whatever I play, you play. Starting on the D string, like this. change it. Your turn. Squash that second finger up for a C. My turn. Can you see that stretch? Your turn. First finger. Stretch. Watch this one. Your turn is A, B, C. I'm going back to my D string. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. Hold it there in rest position. So, do you think you've got the idea between Fs and F sharps now? Because on the next clip, we're going to learn yet a new note. I want to teach you yet another new note today, and you're going to need it for this piece of music that we're going to learn. Now, there was a reason that I've been 
getting you to do F's to F sharps. That's because now that you know about stretching your second finger to make that higher sound, um, it's now going to be really, really easy to learn the next note. So let me just demonstrate, first of all. So far then, you've done a D. You've done a low E. You've done an F squashed. You've also done an F stretched. And the next step is to take your third finger, there it is, popping out, and you're going to use your second finger stretched to guide your third finger in place. Look at that. So a nice close-up for you. There's the second finger on it stretched, and the third finger is going to sit really close, and this is the sound. Let me compare the two, the second stretched F sharp and the new third finger note. Can you hear a difference? Again. This new third finger note is just a little bit higher, just a tiny bit higher. Now then. We just need to know what the next note is in the alphabet. D, E, a couple of different Fs, and what comes after F? That's right, we've got a G that we can find on our D string with all the three fingers. G, but don't get confused with the G string. There's the G string, and here's all three fingers on the D string. Can you hear the difference between the two G's? You know how we've discovered low A's and high A's and we've discovered low E's and high E's? Well we've now got a high G compared to our low G. Here's low, that's just plain old G string up. I've still got my fingers on because it means I they're already there for me. And then I just roll my bow, and there we have high G. So you need to pause the video here now and get good at finding that third position, uh, third finger. And if you're really clever, you can keep all three fingers down like this and see if it sounds like your G string just below. This is assuming that all of your strings are in tune, of course. So we should have that kind of sound. Okay? So pause here, and when you've done it, come back to me and we'll do a little exercise. Right then, so we're going to use that new note G now as we climb gradually up the strings. Just have a listen to this. Follow that, so I went up gradually. D, E, F sharp, G, and then I went back down, F sharp, E, D. So that's the first thing that you're gonna do. So I'll play bit by bit, and then you're gonna copy it back. So first of all, you're gonna climb up. My turn first. D, E, F sharp, G. Have a go. D, E, F sharp, G. Now I'm going to play it backwards. Keep your third finger where it is. Lift that one off. Lift your F sharp off. And lift your E off. Have a go. So it's three. Third off. Second. Last one. Okay? Are you getting the idea? Try this one. Off you go. D, D, E, E, F sharp, F sharp, G. Try this. Three, three, two, two, one, one, none. 
you know that reminded me of a song? Um, twinkle, twinkle, little star. That's like the middle middle line of that, isn't it? Right. You are going to need that, June. Um, in the song which I am going to teach you. It's actually three songs that we're going to be learning. Three songs that eventually will all fit together. The first song is Oh When the Saints Go Marching In. The second song is Swing Low Sweet Chariot. And the third song is I'm Gonna Sing, Sing, Sing. Now you might already know some of these songs. You might know the first one especially. Um, it's ever so easy. I'll sing it and all you need to do is kind of march on the spot as you do it, um, as, you, as you listen. If you wanna join in, you can. It goes like this. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. I want to be in that number. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Did you know that already? Let's do it all together. Just marching to the beat on the spot. Ready, steady. Here we go, oh when the saints go marching in, oh when the saints go marching in, I want to be in that number, oh when the saints go marching in. Okay, good. Now the second one is called Swing Low Sweet Chariot. And there are just a few actions for this. So I'm going to show you and you're going to watch and listen. It goes like this. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I'll do it again. See if you can join in with some of the words and the actions. Here we go. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. We will do it again later on, so don't worry if you haven't quite got it. Or of course you could rewind there and have another go. Now the third song, I'm going to sing, sing, sing. The actions go like this. That's what you do for sing, sing, sing. Dance, 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 okay? Watch this. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna dance, dance, dance. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna dance, hallelujah. When the gates are open wide, I'll be standing by your side. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna dance, hallelujah. Let's try it all together. Here we go. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna dance, dance, dance. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna dance, hallelujah. When the gates are open wide, I'll be standing by your side. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna dance, hallelujah. Should we do that one more time? Okay, I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna dance, dance, dance. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna dance, hallelujah. Not yeah, just hallelujah. When the gates are open wide, those are the gates to heaven, I'll be standing by your side, next to God. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna dance, hallelujah. Ready, steady, here we go. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna dance, dance, dance. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna dance, hallelujah. When the gates are open wide, I'll be standing by your side. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna dance, hallelujah. Now you need to know all those three songs, one after the other. So keep practicing them, and then we'll have a go at singing them all through in the next clip. We're gonna sing the three songs, one after the other. Um, I've just realized that I should have started with the Swing Low Sweet Chariot. So the order it goes is Swing Low Sweet Chariot, uh, when the saints go marching in and we'll finish with I'm going to sing, sing, sing. Okay, so there's a lovely backing track to sing along to all three. Swing low, sweet chariot first. Sorry about that. Here we go. Swing low, sweet 
chariot coming for to carry me home. Swing on, sweet chariot coming for to carry me home. It's a little bit of a gap between each one, just what we think. Now it's when the saints go marching, just marching. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, I want to be in that number. Oh, when the saints go marching in. And the last one. Those are the three songs and I think now it's time that we learnt the instrument part that fitted with it. Do you remember I said we were going to need that new note G? Well you're going to need it and there's a rather tricky way actually in which you're going to need it. You need to do this. Can you go from D and land? splat all three fingers down together on the D string so that you land together on a G. D and splat. Practice with me. Have all of your fingers off but have them like I'm doing hovering over the string. Okay. So play me a D. Um, can you get all three fingers down together splat? Take them all off again, that's the easy bit. And splat them all down together. So we can jump from a D straight up to a G. Now when you can do that, that's the first part of the violin bit that fits with our When the Saints music. I'm going to show you the first half. You play each note twice. Two Ds, splat your fingers down and play it twice. Down a step to F sharp and down a step to E. Shall I do all that one more time so you can see and then you can pause and have a practice. So it was two Ds. Splat your fingers down for two G's, two F sharps, and two E's. That's the first half of the violin bit that fits. Two D's, two D G's, two F sharps, two E's. Now maybe that's worth writing down on the board maybe, or on a piece of paper somewhere, or somewhere where you can see that so that you don't forget. That's the first half, so if you need to press pause now and have another go at that, then do. Um, and then when you've done that, play, play the video and I'll show you what the second half looks like. Here's the second half. It's like the first half, but slightly different. Watch. Two Ds. Two Gs. One F. One E. And two D's. Shall I do that again? Two D's, two G's, an F sharp, an E, and a D. Oh, sorry, two D's at the end. So if you're writing that down on the board, you're going to write two D's, D, D, G, G, F sharp, E, D, D. Okay? Now, again, this is a good point in which to pause and have a practice. Um, and then I will show you how that will fit with the music 
when you can put those two sections together. If I play to you now, you'll hear how those two halves, those two patterns, fit with the swing low music. Um, if I play it first, and then uh, you can have a go afterwards. Let me listen to this. D, D, three, three, two, two, one. Now the second half. One of each. Okay. So when you're ready, let's do it. I'll just pause this so I can talk. Come on, come on, come on. Stop playing. Ah! Sorry about that. It wouldn't stop. <laughs> so this time, why don't that you try joining in with me? Yeah. Well, it's music. That's just my speaker getting ready to play along with me. And uh, we'll do exactly the same thing, uh, thinking about that pattern. Here we go. So hover those fingers, and here we go, D, D, three, three, two, two, one, one, second half, one of each, so it's a two, a one, and a D, D. Now because there's three songs, you get three chances of getting that right. So let's have another go. Hover those fingers. D, D, three, three, two, two, one, one. D, D, three, three, two, one, D, D. Is that a bit better than the first time? Now you're going to get a third chance of playing it. Let's make it the, the best one. So it's D, D, three, three, two, two, one, one. D, D, three, one of each, two and a one and D. So that's something that you can definitely have another go at until it's absolutely perfect. And then we'll see how we might put the whole thing, the singing and the playing together to make a performance. Now that we've learnt the instrumental part that goes with this song, I need to explain to you how the whole thing works. So you play your instrument three times like we did with each song. And then there's a bit of a link in the music and then you get to sing the three songs. Now the best way for this to work is if all three songs can be sung at the same time. So now that you're all in the same class, you can split the class into three sections. So we'll get your teacher to do that. Um, just decide who's gonna be in group one, who's gonna be in two, group two, and who's gonna be in group three. Now, all of you get to sing all three songs, but it's the order that you sing them in which is going to change according to which group you're in. So listen carefully. If you're in group one, you're all going to sing Swing Low, When the Saints, and I'm going to sing, 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 in that order. And to help you in the next clip when we all sing it together, if you look, you're going to see three of me and you're going to be top left. Swing Low, when the saints, sing, sing, sing. Now, if you're in group two, you're gonna sing uh, when the saints first, then sing, 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 and you're gonna finish with swing low. You're top right. So when you see the next clip, look for top right if you are group two. When the saints, sing, 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 and swing low to finish. Now, if you're in group three, you're gonna watch the bottom, and you are gonna sing Sing, 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 swing low, and when the saints to finish. Okay, did you get through all of that? So group one, you start with swing low. Group two, you start with when the saints, 
and group three you start with sing sing sing. So in the next clip you'll see how it all works and get ready to sing along with your group. try for a final performance. So here's how it works. You repeat your violin pattern, uh, the same that we practiced a couple of clips ago, and you do it three times for each song. There's a gap in between to give you thinking time. And then you split yourselves up into the same groups that you've just been singing in to sing right the way through to the end. Okay, so good luck and let's get your violins ready and start to play it all the way through. Hovering over. Just a bit of time now while you just Check what you're doing, see if you can get it even better second time.
there we go hope I didn't confuse you at the end I couldn't do all three parts at the end there so I was just sort of picking one or two well you can always go back and have another go if it didn't work but that's a great one to try now that you're all back together as a class well done see you all soon